What's up guys and welcome into a new Phasmophobia development preview. This time they're going to give us a little roadmap update and they're also going to tell us what they do with the thermometer. So we're going to have a look at all of that. I hope you're joining me for that. So let's not waste any more time and let's hop right into this. So let's have a look at the roadmap. With progression 2.0 on the horizon, we thought it was a good time to share how this update will be released as it's split into several parts. We are releasing progression 2.0 in this way so that players can experience the new equipment and leveling system sooner instead of waiting around for an extra six months. We know that there's still a reasonable amount of time between now and the update. We are working hard on releasing this as soon as possible, but we also have some additional big news to share in the coming months. So as you can see, the Tempest update was the latest update we got in 2023. And the progression update is actually split up in three updates, as it seems. And we also get Horror 2.0 in uh, 2024 with uh, new ghost models, hallucinations, events overall, new interactions, new locations, new equipment, and much more. So let's have a look what uh, they have in store for us for progression 1, 2, and 3. As you can see, the first part of the update will include all of the equipment tiers, which increases our equipment total from 20 to a whopping 60. That's uh, free per item, it's awesome. The prestige and new leveling system and some more overhauls. This will create a huge shakeup in how the game feels as well as reward players for leveling instead of just a number increasing infinitely. Once part 1 is released, we'll be moving swiftly on to reworking the photo reward system, adding new tasks, optional objectives and adding new ways to earn money in each contract, video and sound evidence. I cannot wait for that. Having more ways to collect with money, especially with video and sound, is going to be a great addition to the game, I think. And also they're reworking the photo reward system again. They have reworked it like, I don't know, like three times now. That's insane. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how this is going to work. Lastly, the third part of Progression 2.0 will add the long-awaited new character models with customization. Oh, nice. Replacing player animations as well as a complete overall of the CCTV system again <laughs> uh, in the truck, allowing you to navigate through place, uh, placed cameras and location cameras much easier. So they are overhauling this again. Uh, they overhauled it already. So they're doing this again. It's actually funny. Cool stuff that is coming up uh, in the next update, it seems. I'm glad they are splitting this up into three updates. So we are uh, getting to enjoy the stuff earlier, right? Uh, instead of just having a huge update in Q4. And they have to wait like extremely long for this. But I think that's pretty cool. I think the biggest thing for me is going to be the new equipment for sure. And also I cannot wait for the video and sound evidence gathering to gain uh, extra money. I'm not so much sure about the new character models to be honest because I, I kind of like the janky models that we have right now. So I, I don't really care much about customization but I know a lot of you guys are, do that. But let me know in the comments if you are actually caring uh, a lot about the new character models. I, I really like the, the current ones to be honest. <laughs> So let's see what they change about the freezing temperatures. While evaluating our evidence types to see what we could improve, we found that freezing temperatures was another evidence that needed a glow up. Absolutely, yes. Freezing temperatures had uh, several issues of its own. Temperatures weren't synced across games, resulting in different players seeing cold breath at different times. Yes, it's a huge issue. The thermometer had become a redundant piece of equipment outside of some very niche situations. That is true. If you can remember uh, the early days of Phasmo, thermometers were super OP. You Everyone just used them to find the ghost room, right? And then they nerfed uh, them hugely. So you couldn't really use them anymore. I only use them technically to uh, assure that this is the ghost room, right? So, but it, it's not really a, a, a useful item anymore. I think most people don't even use it anymore. Finding freezing temperatures was completely passive. There was no gameplay involved outside of noticing a particle effect. Just like our green glowing friend, freezing temperatures has also been completely overhauled. Firstly, cold breath didn't make much sense contextually. To remedy this, cold breath particles will now appear at around 5 to 7 degrees Celsius. I don't know how much that is in uh, Fahrenheit, guys, so I'm sorry. But that is actually cool. It makes much more sense. And it's actually true that uh, you, you can see cold breath above uh, 0 degrees. 
This makes cold breath make much more sense, as well as increasing immersion throughout contracts. Uh, for example, if it's snowing and the fuse box starts off, you will find cold breath instantly everywhere, even in the truck. <laughs> That's cool. Alternatively, if the fuse box is on so that the house is nice and toasty, you'll find cold breath appearing only in the rooms where the ghost has been long enough to drop their temperature. That is pretty cool. So you can technically follow the ghost like that. I really like that. So we have like a way to track where the ghost is going now. And that is amazing, I think. So how do we find freezing temperatures evidence? That's where the thermometer comes in. Firstly, the thermometer is now starter equipment, meaning you'll get a free one in every contract. Nice. Secondly, you'll need to take your thermometer into rooms where you found cold breath and check if the temperature is zero uh, or below. That's actually pretty cool. So you have to actually use it now to detect freezing temps. I really like this change. Thirdly, room temperatures are now synced across players. No longer will one see cold breath before another and you'll get much more consistent readings on your thermometers when checking in a group. That's cool. Lastly, equipment tiers give you different ways of checking freezing temperatures and help you to find the ghost room. I'm not sure if we will actually use it to find the ghost room, to be honest. I think I'm still going to use the EMF. It, it, maybe they changed something to the EMF, right? We don't know yet, but uh, we will see. Tier 1 is an old house thermometer ripped straight off your investigator's living room wall. This thermometer has a slow sample rate, meaning you'll have to wait longer to get an accurate reading. You may want to bring one in and check back on it later in the contract. So it probably takes a long time then to, for this to change. Tier 2 looks the same as the one currently in the game. However, the way you use it differs. Instead of turning it on and getting a reading every two seconds, you have now to hold the use button to scan for temperatures. That's cool. This makes running around and checking each room's temps much faster than tier 1. Alongside this, scanning manually feels much more responsive instead of updating constantly and not knowing if it's accurate or not. That is actually cool. So uh, you can point it and then just shoot it technically. That's nice. Let's see here. here you can see it, how this actually goes. So even though we need to press it to gather the temperature, it seems to take a pretty long time till you actually get the temperature until all these bars are full. I really like this change because it adds a tiny bit more skill to the gameplay, which is pretty cool. Tier 3 is a straight upgrade to tier 2, who would have thought? Completing temperature scans at double the speed of its predecessor. Additionally, this more modern thermo is more accurate with each reading, allowing players to quickly and efficiently scan rooms to find the ghost or to get the freezing temperatures ticket off in the journal. So as you can see, it's the same mechanic as with the previous one, but it seems to be much faster with the bars filling up here to get the temperature. So that's it. Some pretty cool changes in my opinion. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of all of this. I would love to know. Thank you so much guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye. Oh, all these patrons. Thank you so much guys for your support. Mwah. Big schmouts. Mm -hmm.